Hi, this is Court Suit Man, and today I'm going to give a commentary about the reinforcement of negative stereotypes of Native Americans, and in particular the objectification of Native women. Uh, most recently, this include Carly Cross, a Victoria's Secrets model who strutted down the runway in full headdress. Um, I do give Victoria's Secrets a little bit of, um, or I give them some credit because they did offer an apology for that. Most recently, um, Oscar nominee Michelle Williams uh, did a cover shoot for a magazine called An Other or Another, um, dressed in what some people are calling uh, red face. And although the magazine did not offer an outright apology, it did offer this statement. While we dispute the suggestion that the image has a racist subtext in the strongest possible terms, we're mortified to think that anyone could interpret it that way. So it's sort of like an apology that sounds like apology, but it's not really. It sounds like, um, I'm sorry if I offended you, if you took it that way. But anyway, um, but my last commentary, which can be seen on my Corn Soup SU um, YouTube channel, um, concerned No Doubt's Looking Hot video. And in that video, Gwen Stefani is dressed as a blonde and sexy uh, native woman who gets abducted by cowboys as she sings um, about looking hot. The band did offer what I consider a sincere apology and they immediately took down the video off from their website as well as their YouTube channel. But what happens when the reinforcement of negative stereotypes concerns one of your own? And this brings me to this new video, which is called Blowed by a native rapper called um, Chief. Uh, this video is features Snoop Dogg or Snoop Lion, however he's being referred to. Um, and it also includes what they're, term, um, what they're calling Pocahontas. Um, but this isn't the first time that Snoop Dogg has been involved in something that could be deemed controversial. In November 2012, um, he had a Thanksgiving special uh, on his Double G News Network and um, aside from Snoop himself wearing a full headdress, uh, there were two women who were dressed as an Indian and a pilgrim who were scantily clad who were serving their food. So let's take a look at that. Mm -hmm. If y'all don't know, you won't know. You inside the GGN Thanksgiving special. Which will bring more of it, baby. I like, I like where it came from. I just like to reach out. I want to go back to where it came from. Ben Dowd is not a farm. Yeah, you what that? she said. Huh? You find more? Interesting. Well, I'm sure the pilgrims were just as outraged as the Indians. But where are the pilgrims now? I, I'm just kidding. But anyway, but, um, most rap videos or hip-hop videos have a history of glorifying um, alcohol, guns, uh, drug abuse, and violence. And for me, the biggest travesty in these videos are, can be the objectification of women. This formula of making a rap video uh, does not necessarily translate when you replace the rapper and the hose with a native rapper um, with... Uh, non-native women who are dressed in furs and feathers. This video includes visuals of smoking marijuana and lyrics that includes mother bitch, and bitch. So what is surprising is that Chief grew up on the Six Nations um, Reserve, which is located uh, not too far from Toronto, Ontario. And Chief's tribe, like my own, is part of the Iroquois Confederacy. And um, the Iroquois Confederacy has a strong belief in equality, and most importantly, we have an, um, a, a huge respect for the woman. And the video's lyrics and imagery um, contradicts the traditional Iroquois lifestyle. So although this video is available to screen on Chief's Josh Chief Hill's YouTube channel, um, it is worth noting that the commentary section of the video has been disabled, so Maybe Chief knew that he'd be stirring up some shit. So as of today, the video has about 78,000 views, uh, about three quarters like, one quarter dislike. And um, 
but it's instances like these uh, where I see an opportunity to turn these fails into teachable moments, especially for those who um, might not know any better or in Chief's case, uh, who should know better. Um, people make mistakes, so hopefully um, in the future they might think twice about doing something like that. So that's it. That's my commentary. Um, please subscribe to my channel, Corn Soup Man SU, and check back often for new content. So I'll see you later.